Hi oh, everybody, um, it's Roy here again. Um, I'm going to start talking about uh, TV shows today. Um, in the background you might hear Finbar Fury playing The Lonesome Boatman. Uh, on the flute, which is brilliant, I love it. Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm going to start talking about TV shows and creating TV shows and um, what to avoid when you're creating TV shows. The TV industry is very, I, I'm very, very weary, I'd be very, very weary of the TV industry. Um, I'll tell you the story about the Voice TV show and myself. Um, in 2008, I filed copyright for, with the US Copyrights Office in March 2008 for a blind audition TV sh show called The Voice where the judges can't see the singers, only the audience can see the singers and they just judge on the voice. And I actually titled it, the title of the copyright was The Voice. And uh, 2009, I actually pitched it to RTE first. And uh, RTE said it wouldn't work, which was fair enough. That's fine. Um, but in 2009, I gave it to an American agent and he runs what's called the Writer's Vaults in, in America and the Writer's Vaults in America what you do is you lodge your copyright and your content your TV show and producers come but they can't look at it straight off the, the, path, the path they have to sign what's called a non-disclosure agreement which I'll talk to you in a minute about which is very important they, they sign a non-disclosure agreement and then the administrator of the site rings them up says are you really a producer they say, so he, he makes sure they're a producer then they can look at it so a Dutch company uh, a woman called Moose Staflu who works for Talpa accessed my copyright had a look at it came back to the administrator of that site and said look we're not really, really interested, so thanks very much. Um, most staff who know is the... works for Talpa. And Talpa launched The Voice then in 2010. In September 2010. Uh, same show. So... We actually have a case going on in America at the moment for breach of contract regarding the Voice TV show. So if you if you Google my name Roy Barry and the Voice TV show, you can read all the articles about the lawsuit going on at the moment. But that's bringing me into what do you do at home if you've got a good TV show? And the first thing I thought, you know, you go to a production company, you go to a broadcaster, but it's actually the last thing you do. And um, what you find is when you go to these producers, they don't want to sign a non-disclosure agreement. A non-disclosure agreement is a document that says, you signed this, you looked at my idea, now you cannot do anything with that idea until I give you permission. But what producers do is they won't sign the NDA any in the first place. But I run another video of another Dutch guy who got caught similarly by the same guy I have in court, and it's a very very good video. I run that. I put that up on my my website, and uh, he actually had twenty two emails between them, and your man said it, it was his idea. I'm gonna put this on, man. I like it. But. With TV shows, you've got to get that NDA signed. You have to get an NDA. If you go to a production company, oh, they'll say to you, oh, we love it, great idea, blah, blah, blah. And you think then, you, because you've copyrighted it, that you have protection. You don't. What these guys do, when you come into them with their idea, you tell them their idea, you tell them your idea, you tell them I have a copyrighted, thinking that you're going to be protected, but you're not. Because what they do, they go away, they sit with their lawyer, show them the copyright that you've launched, and 
ask the lawyer, how do we get around this? So the, the, the actual lawyer develops it in a way where uh, he can get around the copyrights. So it's similar, but it's not too similar. That's why you need a non-disclosure agreement. The, non the non-disclosure agreement means that's a contract that tells a judge, if need be, because I wouldn't have a case in America only for I had a non-disclosure agreement signed. Because they changed certain elements of the, of the show, but not the main elements. And um, But only for the non-disclosure agreement, I wouldn't, would, would not have a case. And it's ongoing at the moment where we're doing depositions on John DeMaul and his, his company at the moment and we're going uh, through discovery. But, you know, uh, we were in court last August and the judge, they were trying to get it dismissed and the judge said, look, um, the evidence here is compelling, I'm not dismissing it forward for trial. So he set a, set a trial for a date this year and that's what I'm going through at the minute. But I put that to the back, it's not, it doesn't really bother me anymore, it used to bother me at the start, but not anymore. I'm, at, I'm actually, because of all the publicity I've got, um, I have another show in development with one of the top UK broadcasters and top UK guys, top UK producers. So that's through the publicity I got from the lawsuit. Uh, well, this guy has another one. And I actually have 11 more written. But uh, because, also with RT, because I tackled RT about buying it, we put RT on legal notice when we heard that they were buying it from the Dutch guy that stole it from me. And RTE went ahead and bought it. A state-owned company knowingly bought it, stole an Irish product from a Dutch company. Which is fair enough, but we put them on legal notice. So once we win, now I've, I've been blacklisted by them. So I've had to, been based in Ireland, live, living in Ireland, I have to work in the UK because these guys did wrong. And, uh, but because they have a little bit of power, so I'm going to come up with my own here, my YouTube channel, I'm going to fight against all these guys. Plus, I'm going to help you guys, you know, bring your ideas to market. And if you have a similar problem, let me know, because I doorstep these guys for you. I would doorstep these guys that stole your idea. And uh, we'll shame them, we'll shame them. But I'm, I'm, I'm doing very well, I have five other products in the market, I'm getting great publicity out of it, so I'm, I'm happy enough. But. Uh, I want, you know, I, I want to work with you guys out there, I want to help you. I don't want to know your ideas, I just want to make sure you don't make the mistake, same mistakes that, that, I, that I have. So, um, tune in every week, I'm going to be doing lots and lots of episodes. Uh, I'm going to be bringing inventors on, TV creators on, you know, genuine guys, not producers. Um, stay away from production companies, honestly, stay away from production companies, because they will just... They don't, they don't value creativity. So, uh, I'll be doing more on TV shows in another segment, but, and I run that court case that's gonna be going on in Holland the same way that I, I, I have a court in America. So, uh, please keep stay tuned, please subscribe. Uh, I'm here basically to, because I've been through it, you know, to help people avoid these things, avoid them. Because people are walking in to production companies and go, oh look, I have this great idea, and they say, oh, that's brilliant, oh, we love it, we'll, we'll give you a better next week, and they never hear from them again. They sit down, watch the tell a year later, and there's the show coming on from the same production company, and they can't do anything. So, uh, let me help you. As I said, I don't want to know your ideas, but I'll, I'll, I'll help you protect them, and. I can get you into the door. I can, like, if your ideas are strong enough and you feel like I can open doors for you as well, you know. So let me know. Uh, subscribe. Leave me a message. The only message I'll answer is the people that subscribe because I need to build up the su subscri subscribers on this channel to get awareness out there of what's really going on with the corporates stealing from ordinary people like myself. I'm a painter and decorator. I left school at 14. I have five products in the market. One of them is the best-selling TV show in the world. So, we, anyone can do it. So, uh, come on the journey with me and uh, we'll have a bit of crack as well. And the music's not bad either. Thank you.